All right, here is some information about assignment one. So if you're trying to figure out where to get the assignment, it is under assign, uh, course information and then assignment information. So we go here and we open up assignment one. There it is. And here we go. Okay, so assignment one is you're going to read and analyze children's literature. This is a part, sorry about the extreme close up there. Uh, this is a partner assignment and it'll be about a 10 to 12 minute presentation, which will happen on October 6th and 8th on our online. Uh, you'll so you'll actually just kind of read the book to us live. So the rationale for this, for this, um, assignment is to be an amazing language arts teacher you must be excited about and committed to reading out loud to students in a manner that will inspire them to want to read so you have to read with enthusiasm and if you're monotone i'm going to make you do it again anyways you also must be deeply analytical about every book that you read to your students from word choice to illustrations to themes there are so there's so many books out there that you have to know first of all is it a good book is it worthy of reading to your students okay so that's what this is hopefully going to start you down that path so when you get into your own classroom you actually you're just not reading them the duck and the goose went to the pond you're actually going to read them some literature that is worthy of them Okay, so this opportunity to read a children's book and analyze it from an expert position will hopefully translate into practice in your own classroom. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to choose one. Oh, can't do it here. Oh, choose. Oh, I know. I've forgotten how to do that. Anyways, sorry, I lost my pencil. Anyways, off we go. Uh, choose one quality children's book for a set of partners. You're both going to read the same book which means that you need two copies. So there are lots of children's books here at the Medicine Hat College Library. And there are lots of books in the Medicine Hat Public Library. Since you have an MHC student card, that automatically is a public library card as well. So I think you would just have to go in and activate it and then you could take books out. But you need two copies because you're not going to see each other and you shouldn't pass, be passing books back and forth. Um, you can also use your own library collections. You can use school library collections. If um, you know somebody who has a great book collection, you can borrow books from there. But you do need two copies. Um, it's pretty, it's not that hard to get two copies. Don't buy them if you can borrow them from the library. Okay, so then you're going to read letter B here. Read the book to the EDTS 371 class with expression and excitement in a style appropriate for an online class classroom. And then you're going to critique the book in an organized, coherent, and professional manner. You're going to assign a grade level you feel would be best suited, and then you're going to defend. So I think this book is really, it would be really great for grade ones or grade sixes or grade twelves. And why? Are the themes really intricate? Are, is, are, the, are the words really culturally based and maybe a child um, with an ELL background won't be able to understand? Uh, is the book just fun and silly or is it very, does it have a really deep, uh, deep um, concept to it? Okay, so uh, you're going to present connections to ideas from ED test readings and lectures, including language development theories and age related language development. See below for suggestions. So I'm just going to scroll down to show you that. So think about these are terms from your reading for that week and the school age language development lecture, which we, of course, will get to. So these are things that you can include just to start to bring that theory and the practice together. So think about including some of these concepts that I have listed here. Okay, so, uh, and then you're going to present connections to your practicum experience. So you need to be linking this to your practicum experience. Individual read your book, individually, sorry, read your book to your EDTS 371 practicum students. So you need to get on that fairly quickly. So think about picking out a book in the next couple weeks and um, you can choose, mm, actually, no, you have to wait until you, 
get your practicum placement grades because you want to try to partner with somebody who is in a similar grade like somebody in grade three could partner with somebody in grade four but probably somebody partnering grade one and grade six the kids won't you won't be able to read the book so hang on on picking a book until you get your placements and then we can and then you can have that discussion um, with your with your colleagues okay so you want to read it to your practicum students and present student reaction to the book did they love it did they dislike it did they come up with ideas and themes that you went wow that's super interesting i never thought about that so what was their reaction did they laugh did they cry were they rolling on the floor um what did they like the pictures so that's the kind that's the kind of thing and then discuss benefits of this book for your students in their language development so maybe it brings in all of these really juicy words that then you could build um you could build off with your students or you're maybe you're yeah introducing vocabulary or maybe you're introducing a really new theme to them so again how will how will this book actually progress their language development okay so the straight up reading of the book is 25 percent if you're going to be an elementary teacher you got to be able to read a book with excitement so it's it's just straight up did you read it? Were you monotone? Were you boring? Were you exciting? Were you engaging? Those kind of things. Connection to language development concepts. Again, bringing that theory from 371 in your readings into uh, what it, what's the benefit of the book. And then connection to practicum experience. How did the kids react? What did you find out? What was surprising? What, um, what did you kind of expect in there? And then just straight up organization of the presentation. Uh, were you fumbling around? were did you have it organized uh, because of course when you are teaching you are always presenting so just to get to develop those skills a little bit uh, for a total of 100 at least i hope that adds up to 100 and all group members of the group will receive the same grade whoever you partner with you get the same grade there's no written component but that needs to be handed in for this assignment it is all an oral presentation and if you want to use a powerpoint for the presentation it's acceptable but not required it might be tricky in this online, uh, but I know you guys are tech savvy, so do what do what you want with the PowerPoint. It's not required, but it it does just help you to stay organized. Here is the rubric. So again, have a look through what an A is: reading with great expression, read with some expression, read with no expression. Analyze text. Satisfactory. Didn't analyze. Connected text to practical experience was kind of forced and then actually didn't even read the book to the practicum students and then just organization and this is presented in professional no ums like we do need to get like out of our vocabulary as a teacher and um, and present and the presentation was organized and flowed and again those are potential things so there's assignment one uh, i really love this assignment we've had lots of fun with it in the past and I think that you will as well. All right, take care.